Ms. Lamb, uh, there were three mobile security detachments, 18 people, six in each one of those detachments. And uh, they were uh, supposed to be, supposedly asked to stay, the, the leadership did. And uh, you were uh, required to make a decision. Uh, they left and they were not replaced. They were supposed to be backfilled by diplomatic security agents. Uh, the 16 troops that, uh, uh, and you said you were watching in real time, incidentally, it's very interesting, but the 16 troops that were replaced, or were supposed to be replaced, or were going to be requested to replace, you said no, and then you said, well, they were going to be in Tripoli, but the fact of the matter is they not only worked in Tripoli, but when needed, they went down to Benghazi. Is that not right? I believe they made two to three trips. I know, but they, were, they, they did go to Benghazi, and they could have gone to Benghazi. Yes. But they weren't there, so they were gone. And you decided that you thought that they shouldn't be No, sir. As, as Undersecretary Kennedy has stated, the specialized skills that they brought when they came originally had been backfilled by other parts of the State Department. And the specialized skills were no longer... But not with U.S. military. No, sir. Okay, that's all I need to know. And uh, uh, I really appreciate you folks taking all the time you have to do. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I, I thank the gentleman. Colonel Wood, would you just respond? You looked like you were chomping at the bit when uh, Ms. Lamb talked about specialized skills. She made an assessment. Would you agree with that? No, sir, I would not agree. Yeah. A special forces soldier is, is way above the, uh, the skill level of a hired uh, local uh, national armed with a pistol or even the uh, MSD agents that were on the ground there as well. Thank you. Thank you. I, I think I remember the quote, never take a knife to a gunfight. Amen. With that, we go to the gentleman.